I'm Callie Lewis, and even though I said the last brief was 685, really, this is it. Today so far has been a huge day of juicy news from Sling Media, but it's news that leaves the gadget world a little skeptical because it's all OEM stuff. So unless your nice, generous cable company wants you to have it, you may not have an option to get it. The strategy they've been working on is creating products that manufacturers and TV service providers will embrace and add to their current list of options. The Slingbox 700U adds Slingbox capabilities to an existing internet-connected set-top box via USB. It's plug-and-play simple, they say, but I guess not not available through our local retailers. The Sling Receiver 300 is an awesome little box of potential. It lets you move HD content from an HD DVR to other TVs in the house over the home network without the need to install cables, but again, is dependent on your nice cable company making it available to you. The Sling Monitor 150 is something I'd love to have in my bathrooms and kitchen where I don't have TVs. It's a 15-inch Sling Media-enabled display that brings HD content into rooms in your house where installing cable just isn't likely to happen. It's a great idea. I would buy two of these, but if it depends on my cable provider making them available for a monthly fee, all my excitement just kind of fades away. Finally, from Sling Media is the Sling Touch Control 100. It's a gorgeous touchscreen remote control with an interface based on Sling Media's Sling Guide Electronic Program Guide. It interacts with Sling Guide enabled DVRs and IR controlled AV devices, but it seems that even this isn't going to be for sale at your local Best Buy or Fry's. It doesn't take a genius to understand Sling's approach from a business perspective. They're a target because their existence depends on the availability and use of tons of bandwidth. I just don't hold out a whole lot of hope that the hearts and minds of cable companies will be easier to win than the hearts and minds of consumers. A company that has focused exclusively on consumers is Boxy, and their new remote control for the Boxy Box is a great example. Have you seen it? They took the idea behind the Apple remote, the idea of keeping it simple, and added just a little more to the front to make it a little more useful, and then flipped it over and added a QWERTY keyboard. Awesome job, Boxy boys! There is oh so much to talk about, so I'll be back later today to talk about more good stuff coming out of CES in Vegas. Tonight around 7 p.m. Central, we'll go live at www.cal Live.tv with Jeff McCord from the Moxie Mo Show, and we'll stick around through the Microsoft keynote where Balmer is expected to introduce Microsoft's own slate. If we have everything in order, we'll be able to stream the keynote and provide some play by play. All my CES coverage is brought to you by Angie'sList.com slash geek, where my code geek lets you join the list for 25% less. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. Finally, from Sling Media is the Sling Touch Control.